don't know where Mars is gonna come out. I'm using tweakers to move it, because it might come out more over this way. I kind of have a feeling. Oh, there it is. Oh, I just caught the end of it. Whoa. That's pretty cool. Whoa, man. That's Mars coming out from behind the moon. That's so cool. Whoa, man, I didn't think I'd be able to catch it with this. I'm using a Celestron four and a half inch Newtonian 910 millimeter focal length. The eyepiece, I've got a Barlow. Got a Barlow with a 25 millimeter on it. There you go, that should be pretty stable. I'll let, let that sit for a minute. Whoa, man, that looks awesome. I'm definitely gonna put this on YouTube. So cool, man. Just so everybody knows, I'm capturing this on an iPhone 11 Pro. I'm in Hendersonville, Tennessee, and it's like 9.15 p.m. right now, Central Time. Wow. Just figured I'd go ahead and put the 10 millimeter on. Look at those craters, man, with those shadows. You can really tell the, the high peaks of it. If you were sort of hiking in that region, that would be, you know, you'd be like, in the shadow one minute hike up top and you'd be back in the sun uh, just really with the shadow on it you can really see the perspective of it actually being this very uh hilly terrain a uh, crater terrain of, full of craters very cool mars here it is everyone next two homes for mankind. I don't know if I'll ever see this again, both of them in the same shot. So I'm gonna take this out and I'm gonna look through it with my eye. So thanks for watching everybody. See you in the next one.